Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I am going to delete the record from the backend. Here is the store procedure in which we have created the delete record query. So it will delete the record from tutorial post where TID is matched by this. Now we need to create the action listener here. So what we will do, we will pass a simple TID in the backend. So let's create this. I will delete and now we will pass only the ID now use the name of filter from the store procedure in filter here and pass the ID here in the index we will create another Ajax code which will send the record so we need this post copy this and now we will only pass the TID TID so how we will get the TID it's really simple we will use jQuery to perform that upon the successful deletion of record from the backend when you have successfully deleted the record upon this we will reinitialize the data table again hmm. and now we need to pass the TID so we will traverse it from front end so in the console we have parent this is table row dot children dot eq0 the first td dot text so here is the TID value. Pass this here. So now execute the application and we need to change the port from one six two one seven now when i will click on delete first it will destroy the table then empty the key body then get the primary key pass that to the action listener delete the record and upon successful deletion of record reinitialize data table here you can see i am going to create three it's deleted and now you see showing one of one entry and if I will delete this all the records are get deleted I hope this video tutorial is informative if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects YouTube channel to get connected with ASP.NET development take care bye bye have fun